John Allen Show, the American missionary who was allegedly killed by an Indian tribe earlier this month after he attempted to convert them to Christianity, journaled the days leading up to his mysterious death. According to entries obtained by the Washington Post, Show, 27, ventured in a small fishing boat to North Sentinel Island, where he found the endangered Sentinelese tribe living in small huts. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. Once he made contact with the Sentinelese people, who have little to no contact with the outside world, Sho wrote that they allegedly reacted angrily when he tried to preach to them, according to the Post. I hollered, my name is John, I love you and Jesus loves you, Sho explained in his journal on November. 16. He then wrote that one of the tribe's people struck him with an arrow, which pierced through his Bible. You guys might think I'm crazy in all this, but I think it's worthwhile to declare Jesus to these people, Sho wrote before adding, God, I don't want to die. The following day, he tried to make contact again. Tragically, local fishermen watched as the Sentinelese people dragged Sho's body away and buried him, CNN reported. A fellow missionary confirmed the fishermen's sighting to Sho's mother Linda Adams Sho, according to an email also obtained by the Post. At this time, Indian police have not confirmed whether or not Sho is dead, but believe he is, and they are doing their best to recover his body, CNN reported. However, due to the fact that the Sentinelese people are threatened by outside contact, it's been very difficult to find Sho's remains. We have a team out in the waters for reconnaissance and to strategize how to recover his body. The team consists of coastal guards, officials from tribal welfare department, forest department officers and police officials, Indian police told CNN. When asked by the Post about her son, Linda said, I believe he is still alive. While India has banned people from interfering with the indigenous tribe whose numbers are believed to be in severe decline, Sho allegedly paid a group of local fishermen to take him to the island, which is also a part of the Andaman Islands India Today reported. CNN also reported that the fishermen who helped Sho travel to the island have been arrested as India has passed laws banning people from going near the island and its inhabitants to protect the tribe's health and way of life and to protect outsiders from possible violent incidents. Dipendra Pathak, Director General of Police of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, told CNN that while Sho came into the country on a tourist visa, he was clearly a missionary. We refuse to call him a tourist. Yes, he came on a tourist visa, but he came with a specific purpose, to preach on a prohibited island, Pathak said. North Sentinel Island is about the size of Manhattan, but those who live on the island are known to fiercely protect themselves if anyone or anything attempts to come close to their village, according to Survival International. Reports on their numbers vary from as little as 15 to over 100. The group first gained national attention in 2004, when authorities flew by helicopter to check on the island after the Asian tsunami. A member of the tribe was photographed firing arrows at the helicopter. Why does this beautiful place have to have 
so much death here, Sho wrote in his journal. I hope this isn't one of my last notes, but if it is to God be the glory. Sho's family has since released a statement regarding Sho's death on his Instagram page. We recently learned from an unconfirmed report that John Allen's show was reportedly killed in India while reaching out to members of the Sentinelese tribe in the Andaman Islands. Words cannot express the sadness we have experienced about this report, the statement read. He was a beloved son, brother, uncle and best friend to us. To others he was a Christian missionary, a wilderness EMT, an international soccer coach, and a mountaineer. He loved God, life, helping those in need, and had nothing but love for the Sentinelese people. We forgive those reportedly responsible for his death. We also ask for the release of those friends he had in Andaman Islands. He ventured out on his own free will, and his local contacts need not be persecuted for his own actions, 